It has occurred to me this morning that with all of the shit that I have been dealing with, trying to expose this stuff that I have, is that the spiritual stuff is getting lost. And that, for me, is probably the most important. I am pushing my opposition hard. Hard. They will either be exposed, which I believe is already happening, or they'll do to me what they've done to every single person in, that has tried to do this. Isaac Cappy, Max Spears, Lori King, they're just three of a huge, long list of people. The difference for all of them and myself is that mine has always been spiritual has always been spiritual. When I got involved with this, I've talked about it over and over and over, but when I got involved with this, I wanted these idiots clamped. I wanted them stopped. And my contention to the other side was that they make all of these promises and allegiances when they do these rituals. And uh, when they get involved with this group, they 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 they, they take make all of these promises. And my contention was that when things didn't go the way they wanted them to go, not only would they not honor those promises, but they would flat out betray them. And I have a unique position in this, in this situation because as a child, they were training me to believe that I was going to be the vessel that the Antichrist was going to inhabit. And therefore, they pledged their soul's allegiances to me, even though it wasn't meant for me personally, <clears throat> still. And so they think that taking me out with their directed energy weapons, which they've done to so many people, you know, um, they, they think that that matters and they don't realize that I put my life on the line because what is one life to offer to God? What is one life? That's what I've chosen to do. So they think that they're going to win by taking me out, by neutralizing me with what they've done to every single other person. But I am an anomaly to their group because they sacrifice so many people and none of those people were like me. Me, I'm what they've never encountered before. Someone they have to sacrifice and don't want to. I've given them really no choice. Their shit is falling apart. It is. They wouldn't act the way they are now if that wasn't the case. But we're at the end. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in the end. Nobody believes in the end. But the gamma radiation from all of those solar flares is having a profound effect on everything on this planet. Obviously. So that alone... Not to mention Beetlejuice and the shit that it shot at us that's going to be here momentarily, really, in the scope of things. It's not that far away cosmically or in space, as it seems. It's the closest star nearest to us. And uh, it's, it's the surface that it just shot out at us is aimed right at us. The spiritual stuff is true. Fill your hearts with love. I can't say it enough. This is it. And the wheat is going to be separated from the chaff. If you do not have love in your heart, you will be trapped in the dark. That's how it works. And there'll be no if, answer, buts. And there'll be no rebuttals and no do-overs and no pleas for another chance. Because it won't happen. Spiritually... They screwed with spiritual principalities they should have best left alone. And not only did they screw with them, they betrayed them. Probably not 
the most sensible decision, but they're not well known for sensible decisions. So that's really, I'm going to start focusing on this spiritual because all of their shit is already falling down. There are good people out there who are in law enforcement who are investigating the shit. That is the reason why they are struggling so hard to discredit me and call me a liar when I've never been lying. I'm not lying now. They all need to be investigated and they were, they're all idiots. So they were sloppy. So it's not that hard to see what I'm saying. You know, anybody who has a brain and there are several out there who do. And so with that said, fill your hearts with love because things are about to end.